So today we've got a totally different video to what we usually do. This time I've been sent out a new Virgin box and this is my old one. If you are with Virgin, you might have a Super Hub 1 or you might have the Super Hub 2. The difference is that this one does 2G and 5G and it can handle a lot faster speeds because people are on like 200 meg and stuff now. This is just a look at the Super Hub 2. As you can see it's got Virgin on the back and it's got some vents on the top and Virgin on this side. On the back here we've got a little restart and we've got four ethernet ports. We've got this for a coaxial to plug it in so we'll get the internet. And this is a little on off switch and that's obviously where your power lead goes. Under here on the bottom is just your, um, your internet code. But over here it says, if I can focus, it says that it's a Super Hub 2. The newer ones to this one were a 2.5. So if they try and give you one of them, just say no. Say you want a Super Hub 3. On this side here, the way you can tell, it says 5G, 2G. This just makes sure you're online, so that's ticked. This is when you're downloading, it'll flash, and this one's the power. That one's for your WPS. So now we're going to go to the unboxing of me Super Hub 3. They did send us one out the other day, but it ended up being a Super Hub 2, so hopefully this is a 3. And it is... So I'll move this to the side for a second and you get this which is basically to tighten the cable up when you put it in here that's just a little spanner to tighten stuff up you've got your power lead here which is a lot smaller than the original one and I'm not sure what's on the other side but we'll have a look see what's in here so that's that's what it is so this comes in two parts that obviously plugs into there and that makes it longer. It's basically just look, a little bit like a laptop um, power source, but you can see they're the, they're, the, they're the two parts. Obviously that plugs into here. Boom, and that's that. So that's a lot longer than the original one, but I'm not really, I'm not really a massive fan of these. Inside your box, you've just got how to set it up and they're just your basic things so we'll push that out of the way and this out of the way and we can open this and this is the new we'll pull this off we'll pull this off the side that's just me information for me wi-fi and everything so this is it this is what it looks like size comparison wise we'll see which one's the this one's slightly taller and a little bit fatter, but if you look at the bottom of this, it's wider on the bottom. So what we've got on it, we've got a little button here for uh, WPS. There's nothing on this side, you can just sort of see in there. And it's the same on here, nothing on the top. On the bottom, you've just got some more codes. Down here, you've got your four Ethernet ports, your reset for your coaxial and your power. This time it's a little flicky switch. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's a little flicky switch. And up here it's for your, oh, what do you call it? It's a VOIP, Voice Over Internet Provider. So that's a thing that's going to be coming into the future. So you won't need a phone line, you'll just go through your internet. And that's everything. So now I'm going to set it up and see what sort of speeds I get. So as you can see, I've just done a test there on the Super Hub 2 and my pings were 18, my download was 150 and my upload was 10. I'll click test again just to see if I'm getting the same, which I should be. So the pings were one more there, I did get 18 but it looks like my download's gone up a little bit. About 156, that's what it looks like I'm going to get. It ended up on pretty much 155. But still, I'm only on 150 meg, so it's a good speed anyways. And the upload looks to be around 10 again. So I'll just let this finish, and then I'll get the overall. So there you go, we're finished. So the pings were 19, the upload was 154.92, and the upload... Did I see the up or the down there? I meant, I meant the down. And the up is 10.16. And as you can see, 
we've got the Super Hub 2 running there. So I'm going to ring up Virgin, set it all up with the Super Hub 3 and see what speeds we get. So we're back and it's a couple of days later, as you can tell from the date in the bottom right hand corner. The reason was because Virgin sent us out the wrong box. But this is the new Super Hub 3 and as you can see I'm still getting the same pings and there's me download and there's me upload. I'm just going to click test again, just so I can do a live test for you. Let you see what I'm getting. And it's slowly getting there, slowly getting there to the 150 mark. There you go, we've cracked it. Oh, it's just gone under. Oh my god, I don't believe that, typical. And the upload looks like it's going to be roughly about nine and a half. Is it going to hit the ten? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it hit the ten. So that was it. And if I pause this for two seconds and show you the router, although actually, you know, I'm not, I don't even have to pause it, do I? I'll just, I'll just pick my camera up because it's, it's on the stand at the moment. If you look, there's the camera running. The camera, there's the box, sorry, running, as you can see. Sorry, you'll have to excuse the mess in the background there. I've been plugging everything in. But the way you can tell with these, if you've got this light on, that means it's working. If any of these are lit up, that means there's a fault. So the only one you want lit up is the bottom one. Another quick thing, if any of you guys want to change your Wi-Fi password or anything, the link that you'll have to go to is this one, the 192.168.0.1. And here it says put your modem password in. That is the actual, if you look underneath the modem, you'll see a password and you'll type that in and that'll be the actual one. Once you do type that in, it'll bring you up to this page and then what you want to do is you want to go over to this one that says advanced settings. Click on that one and go to the one that says wireless. Click that. And then this one over here that says security. Click on that and then it'll come up and it'll ask you to put your new Wi-Fi password in if you want to change it. So when you do that, it'll bring you to this page. As you can see, I've put a pen on the screen because I, I don't want you to know my password because I use it for quite a few things. But one thing you do want to do is, if you go to this one for the 2G and you rename it, if you put dash 2G, and then the one below it, if you can see this one down here, if you put that dash 5G, and then when you connect to it, you'll know which one's which, whether you've got your 2G or your 5G. And that's it. If you get stuck with anything else, as always, just leave us a comment and I'll help you out. One more thing before I go, it didn't pick up my laptop there, I couldn't get the Wi-Fi to pick up. So what I done was, I came on this 192 page again, I went down here to advanced settings, I clicked on wireless and then I clicked on wireless signal. And then you let this page load up and as you can see here it says wireless mode. It did only have G and N, so I've enabled B, G and N, you click that. Scroll down the bottom here and just click apply and then it'll work for any 2G device, whether it be an old, new or whatever. So that's all I've done.